Obviously, Randy Orton issued the challenge to Christian. Will he accept? Obviously, if Christian does accept, an unsanctioned match basically means whatever happens, WWE isn't held accountable for it. Um, so... Rollins and Triple H comes to mind for Mania 33. Rollins' leg was injured, his knee, uh, at the time. So if anything happened to his knee, WWE can't be held accountable, basically. We want to see it, Christian. One more match. Yes. Yes. Christian accepts. Let's go. Ric Flair saying, no, Christian, no. This is a death wish, to be fair. Ring the bell. This match is official. Unsanctioned match, no holds barred, anything goes. Oh! Ric Flair, what are you doing? Low blow to Christian. You just cost him the match. No. No. Just like he did to Edge. Randy Orton bringing it back on TV. Punt kick. Punt kick to Christian. It's back. It's officially back. That move's been banned for years, obviously. Bought it back on Edge at Backlash and doing it to Christian now. Christian out cold. Obviously, history of concussions. Cover him. One, two, three. And just like that, Christian loses his first match back in six years. What's Randy saying to him? Saying he's sorry. The legend killer's back. You kicked him in the head. How is it his fault? Randy Orton, man. The legend killer 2.0. Christian been put in a neck brace. I'm going to stop it there. Do you guys think we've seen the last of Christian in a WWE ring? I think, you know, with his history of concussions and stuff, I didn't think it would be likely we saw him again. But this, you know, he just got punted in the head. And a low blow. That's, that's what he took. It's not like he did any major bumping. So, I don't know. Maybe we could see one more match, but maybe not. I don't know. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.